All I'm saying is y'all talking about making the playoffs. This coach here been making the playoffs since the playoffs been the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Even with no quarterback, no no wide receiver. Well, he always had wide receivers. They might have been off the they rock a little bit, you know, tweeting and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, this coach here is going to find a way to get his team into the playoffs. I wish my coach could do the same. But we're going to bring up RBO Vaughn. Okay. Hold on, hold on, Vaughn. Hold up. What up, bro? I got you. Look, they look def- they definitely look like twins, too. Yeah, welcome. welcome. What it do, man? What up, first place, brother? How you doing, first place, brother? Top of the division know. gang is here. How we can go, going, man. We can leave. Like, <laughs> I don't even see y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all too low. Oh yeah. Oh y'all both. I right, do y'all think then? Go ahead, Joe. Take right it. now. You know what I'm saying? All I heard, <laughs> I heard. You know, a, a Duke fan up here talking. Let me just say this about that. Mm-hmm. I know y'all beat up on the team in the exhibition game. It's an exhibition game. But let's see what y'all do. You know, when it's the, the show time, because we got some top recruits as well. Ian Jackson. We got we we got we got a bet on the on the on the series this this year, right? Again, we running it back, right? Business as usual. Okay. Okay. As long as you know. Now about my college football team, I'm a, I'm keeping a hundred with y'all. I pulled a Joe. I like them because I like their basketball team. Now I gotta re- reel it back, do my research, and really pick a real team because I was just riding Drake May train for the second. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I got you. I got but you. Let, let, let's get, let's get it cracking, man. Let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking. All right, so after the disrespect was uh, that would not be tolerated. Um, we got an ex. <laughs> Come on, he can't hear us. Hopefully, you can hear this question then. No, <laughs> is, is Mike Tomlin still a top five coach in this league? If that's a trick question. I just want to know. This is, y'all just want y'all just want to see me today, right? That that's all it was. Y'all just wanted me to get a little airtime on. Our, 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 I get it. Of course, he's a top five coach. He's always been. He's never not been a top five coach. I mean, Tom will explain why. He always makes the playoffs, even without a quarterback. I mean, a lot of people going to hang on his hat. He hasn't won since 2016, I believe, when we beat – um, we won two games that year. I think we beat the Chiefs and the Dolphins that year, and we lost to the, to the Patriots. Then we lost to the Browns. I mean, that game – Everybody that guy, I can't. Even, I don't even want to talk about that game. Marquise Pouncey was a top, a top center in the league. The first play, throw the ball. Playoff, playoff yeah, the play, yeah, the playoff. Yeah. These oh, we, the, we got here too. No, I'm talking. No, nah, y'all ain't beat us that year. Sorry. You talking about in in the playoffs? Oh, I think 2020. 20, 20, my bad. Nah, he's I ain't talking about 2020. I'm talking about. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm bad. That undefeated season. We, I ain't talking about that year. I'm talking about okay. before that. We we played. I'm talking about way before that. Because the last two playoff losses, I'm not going to put that on Tomlin. We went against Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. He's not going to win those games with the quarterbacks he's, he's been having. That's just a fact. I mean, the game against the Chiefs, uh, we had Big Ben on his last leg, and our defense held them down. Our first touchdown came from our defense. But then what happens? All right. Right now, currently, Mike Tomlin has this team first in the AFC North in front of the big and bad Ravens everybody's so scared of. By the way, we did sweep them last year, too, with the sorry quarterback. Um, uh, how is he winning? Mike, Mike Tomlin isn't an offensive coach. He isn't a, a, um, a, a Kyle Shanahan. He isn't one of those guys. He isn't an Andy Reid. He's not one of those type of guys. He's a defensive coach. Um, he was a Tampa Bay defensive back coach. I believe they want to ring with him. How we win the games, y'all? Defense and special teams. And running the football. Well, the running the football, it's it's kind of um third. It's, it's like getting there, kind of. It's not it's not what there. I'm saying is, what I'm saying it's more it's more effective than it, it was in, in like past years. That's so. all. Um, I don't know. This year they were not game winning that good. Last game was was like probably best. Last game. last three games, Joe. Najee had hundred yards. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. The running game. Last but game. Warren went crazy too, though. No. Yesterday. Warren had he did all right. He had like forty he yards. I'm because y'all missed him with a screen game. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, you know we got the one-two punch, the best in the league. I'll say. Well, ah, I ain't gonna do that. The Lions. The Lions. The Lions got it. Lions got it. I'm. I'm gonna disrespect them. We top three though. All right. These are the things that Mike Tomlin has done this year. You know, he comes in, he has a guy like Russ, supposed to be a starter. He gets injured, so he brings in Fields. With Fields, our defense really had to win a lot of the games. Special teams played a big role. And then we end up losing two games after going 3-0, and then we 
win the game. However, Fields didn't look so good. Now, a lot of people kept saying, you know, Tomlin should start Russ, this and that. Mike Tomlin did the perfect thing that he could do. He kept it a competition the whole time and waited until Russ was able to actually play to actually make a move. And when he made his move, guess what, y'all? He was a sole person to make the decision. A lot of people in the organization didn't want him to change Justin Fields because it's like, why, why mess up something? You know what I'm saying? However, Mike Tomlin knew what he saw in practice. He knew what he saw in, you know, in Russ in his whole career. He knew what we needed to be better. And what has happened? With Justin Fields, this is our offense. 20 points a game, 298 yards a game, and seven yards per attempt. The yards per game ain't terrible, but it's not good. With the last two games, 31 and a half points per game, 417 yards per game, and 9.5 yards per attempt. Top five in the league. Now, that's a big turnaround, and that goes all to Mike Tomlin. Because, like I said, he's the sole person to make that decision to start Russ. So, for me, I think the proof is in the pudding. And I think, you know, the fact that he actually has a, a, a quarterback that has done something in this league, quarterback that's not just average, I feel like he can get back to getting to Super Bowls rather than just getting the best out of guys and over, over, like over exceeding, but still not really accomplishing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like him going over 500, is him overachieving with the team that we've been having, to be honest. It's not like we get to the playoffs and lose to a lesser team. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, the last two losses we had was against the Bills and Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Two, two before that, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to say about those. The Jaguars, we put up 500, 500 total yards, scored 42 points. They put up 45. We had two turnovers. They did. They, they win the game. Chiefs get. I mean, the Browns game. We turned. We went down like 35 to seven off all turnovers, and it was just those games were just crazy. So. I don't put too much on Mike Tomlin for losing like those type of games, even the last two games. What I always put my a lot on Tomlin was certain decisions that he made, letting Ben Roethlisberger stay so long, letting Matt Canada stay so long, things like that. It's like, come on, man. The standard is the standard, right? But what is the standard? So my 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 take is Tomlin is a top five coach right now, top three to me. And he always been a top five coach. He's never not been a top five coach in my eyes. I see brother Jacob said he's number two. Are you saying like right now? It's interesting almost. Yeah, brother Jacob replies to that. Fellas? There you can go. I feel like these still we have to go on purpose. <laughs> now Joe's still upset that you said they can't want to play all game. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say that. Now you put words on All right. So I've been pretty consistent on this. Uh-uh. And I'm not going to change it. But I will say this, though. Mike Tomlin has this Steelers team looking like one of the best teams, if not the best team in the AFC, other than the Chiefs. I'll say that. This Steelers team, this Steelers defense is playing lights out right now. Let's be frank about that. If you look at the play um, last night um, to seal the game, who was it? It's the guy, TJ Watt, the guy that makes the plays. Um, they don't they they don't give up. Uh, I know Joy Porter Jr. actually played a really good game last night as well. Even though Malik Neighbors got a few catches, but Joy Porter Jr. played a good game. And then you see a game like that against a good Giants defense where Najee pretty much is running all over them. Uh, he's playing a really good. He 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 was definitely balling last night um and the addition with russ um i think we uh, i mentioned this in the in the beginning of the year um when in the offseason feels was like no i'm here to compete to be the qb1 then he comes in you know russ is injured he plays the first six games they're four and two you like dang i mean they look good i don't see why they would make the switch and i even questioned them making that switch i was like why would you do this right now when Justin Fields is, you know, he's on the trajectory, he's going up. You can see in the last couple of games, he's starting to play a little bit better than before. But Justin Fields said it himself. He said, I did not solidify the spot. I felt if I if I solidified the spot, Russ wouldn't even be in the question right now. He, Russ would just be, you know, he would be on the bench. He didn't say exactly he would be on the bench. But basically, he's just saying that 
if I played the way I should have played, then this wouldn't even be a question. I would I would still be the starter, still taking the snaps, and not be the guy out there. But I didn't I didn't do that. He even said that there were t- in the two games they lost prior, there were there was a t- um, there were moments where he, they could have won that game if he actually did what he should have done. Um, so, but Russ makes this offense look a lot smoother. He was dropping some dimes last night in that game. Um, that that pass, that touchdown pass, that didn't count because George Pickens was a really good pass. It's just that his feet didn't get down, but that was a really good pass that he threw down there. He threw some really some good some some good uh, passes on the sideline, and even though he took some sacks in that game, you can tell that Russ is he's making some really good decisions out there. So this is what Mike Tomlin needed. Mike Tomlin needed a vet quarterback to come out there and be able to feed his um his receivers. Now he only has um George Pickens out there because Roman Wilson is on IR right now. And Pat uh, Pat Framoff is still out there playing good with Darnell Washington, but you mix those two in along with George Pickens and Najee running the ball, he'll he'll get to me. He'll get back to that top five thing. I, for me, it was just expecting expecting more than just winning, just being over five hundred. That's just my thing when it comes to my time. Just getting when I see when I think about my time before, um, when he had Big Ben and all this other stuff, it was him getting to the playoffs, fighting for Super Bowl titles. That's a top five coach to me. That's that's the guy. That's the guy that I remember. Now, not saying that he ain't capable of that, but that's that just hasn't what is what that's not what it's been. They they drafted Kenny Pickett. They put him in the, in the, in the they put him in that position to be the starting quarterback. They had Mason Rudolph and all those guys. They had opportunities to draft quarterbacks and they just didn't do it. So I'll say I'm still I'm still on hold for that, but. It definitely looks great right now, and if you base it just on if you base it just off this season, then I I would say yes. Based off this season alone, you could say yes. Okay. Based on this season alone, so based on the eight games. Yeah, if we base it off of just eight games, is he a top five coach right now for this season? You would say yes. Off eight games for this season, you would say yes right now. So I mean, Kyle Shanahan ain't top five. No, right now I would not say he is. So that's not the question, though. I'm sorry to be more specific. <laughs> the Thank question you, is who the best coach? Because in the first eight games, it's active coaches right now. Is he top five? Straight up. We ain't talking about the career and all that stuff. I that's said no. Okay. I said okay. I said I'm I said I was consistent with that. I, said, I started off with that. I said I'm gonna be consistent with that. I said no in the beginning. I'm saying no now. Okay. Double checking for the viewers who missed the beginning. You know. Uh, sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. Can I just ask? Can we just have Dave give his top five? I wrote down some people too. <laughs> Andy Reid, of course. Kyle Shanahan. You just said he that period. Though. No, first eight Joseph games. Based off of this, they just said based off this year. That's yeah. why I said no. Okay. You said the first Kyle. eight games or not? Kyle Shanahan. <laughs> Come on, man. Just let me. I got you. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Um, hey, you ain't just do the LL. Honestly, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people give this coach a flat, but Nick Sirianni, I mean, they have been in the, they have been in the playoffs consistently the last few years. Um, I'll say that he's, I'll, I'll give him a top five coach as well. Um, the Bills head coach, um, I put him up there as well um, because they've been consistent in the playoffs. And honestly, I'm going to say the Vikings head coach. Um, if you look at what he's been able to do, I think he's I personally think he's the top five coach in the league. All right, so now I ain't know he was doing top fives, but I, I throw my top five in right quick. I'm going in. and we saying overall, right? We ain't worried about no eight games. Just period. Yeah, period right now. Not not career, not what they did. Just right now. Right now. In this yeah. time frame. No order. I'm just throwing them out there. Andy Reid, okay, Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan. I don't know. My T might be up there. I'm going to throw my T in my five. And when I'm at four, mm-hmm. they won't call me a hater if I don't because he's been the most winningest coach since he's exactly. been in the league. So I got to say Nick Sirianni. But other than that, that's my five. 
Let me get my top five. All right, go ahead. All right. Andy, no order. Andy Reid. Uh-huh. Dan Campbell. Okay. Sean mm-hmm. McVay. I'm going to give flowers for Kyle Shanahan. And Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin is top five for sure. He not five. I think yeah. Mike Tomlin. Can I and swap? Tomlin's probably number two like those things said. Can I swap Dan? Can, can I swap Nick for Dan Campbell? Yeah, you better. <laughs> you better. <got it. laughs> yeah. Joe, I think I like your list the most, to be honest. Um, well, I think you and Tom got the same Ooh. list, pretty much. Mm. I, I, John I don't think he's top five. My issue with John Harbor: when so Lamar gets hurt, they they don't they don't win on games, bro. They yeah, don't, they don't win on games. I mean, That's Shanahan, Shanahan team hurt right now. They ain't winning no games for real. I mean, we four and four. I'm just saying. So it's not like it's not like we're, we're we won, it's not like we won in six. We're four and four. We won. Breakers don't be going one and six when Lamar get hurt. They made the play like Lamar normally gets hurt towards the end of the season. It's not like they play a whole season without. And they Lamar. don't win those games. They don't, Javon. They, they, they don't win all of them. They play number one seed, number one individual. And we talking about the quarterback. I, of I, course, I, you're I, not going to be saw, the number one seed. I saw. No more, I, I saw Lamar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw a season two years ago with two our quarterbacks got hurt, and we still went into the AFC NFC Championship game. So what you talking about? Talking about when Brock mm-hmm. Purdy came in and played well. Talking about that, yes. that year. Yes. Okay. So now, what is Brock Purdy though? We know is who he, he is now, but I'm talking about right then. You said you just said yourself that he don't win games. He he clearly showed that. Mm-hmm. He showed that. He showed that this year. He won games. He won games with Nick Mullins too. You know that, he right? Did, he, won, he won game with C.J. Beathard. All right, so, so we're not putting John Harbaugh in the same conversation with Kyle Shannon. Kyle Shannon has shown he can win games without a <laughs> star quarterback. All right, this is my thing on Kyle thing. Shanahan. See, Dave's thing is getting there. My thing is you got to get the job done. I'm not talking about just getting there either. You I'm are. You know why? Because no, you said not. just winning. No, you said not. just winning. Well, you never said you have that they got to win a ring. I about getting there. I always say I don't care about I'm getting talking about when you we need I'm, to win it all. That's what I said. I'm not talking about your team. I'm talking about your, your point about Tomlin not being a top five coach. You saying because he don't win games in the playoffs. That don't make you a top five coach when it's he you know, hasn't. I, I, and I, and I, and I just, isn't that what I just said? I said he hasn't won games in the playoffs. I just said that. Right? But he's – what do you look at for a coach? A guy that's a leader in men. Mike Tomlin probably the best at that in the league. You need a guy that can restore order. He's one of the best guys at that as well. You need a guy that when when the when the going gets rough, he's gonna hold guys to the fire. He's gonna make like that's the type of coaches you need. Kyle Shanahan is a great offensive mind. I would give you that. Great offensive mind. The thing about Kyle Shanahan is though, he cannot get the job done. He can't. He's been there as an offensive coordinator, didn't get it done. He choked. He's been there as a head coach. Choked every time, every single time you had a chance to win, y'all choked. So you sitting here giving your guy top five because he gets there, but he never gets the job done. Though I'm not saying he's not top five. My thing is, you cannot sit here and say Tom is not top five coach when he hasn't had a good quarterback play since Big Ben was in the league. You just say when he had Big Ben, he was winning. Yes, because he had a quarterback. All these coaches you name, the Vikings had Kirk Cousins, solid quarterback play. The Bills has had Josh Allen, solid quarterback play. Nick, who who, who is Andy Reid? We know who he got. I'm not. I forgot who your um. You had Kyle Shanahan. Who's the other guy you Sirianni. had? Sirianni. I, I can't have this conversation with Dave no more. I didn't know you said Nick Sirianni. You said Nick Sirianni is top five over Mike Tomlin. Are you serious? Are you it's serious? Based on, based on last years, fans. Are you serious? Based on the last few years, I'll say that. Somebody got drug test day, bro. Because Nick Sirianni didn't win until he got who? Did Jalen Hurts win his first year in the playoffs? Nope. Then what happened? They got a superstar offense and defense, and then they finally won some games. What happened last year? Went to the playoffs and got smoked in the playoff game. Okay, so just because that one Super Bowl run, he's a top five coach. Is that what you're saying? They made it. To yes or no, Dave? Three years. Yes or no, Dave? Is that why he's he's a top five coach? Because he made that one Super Bowl run, even though he went ten and zero last year, and then got spanked for the rest of the year. Talk to me, Dave. Nah, it's not just that. You got to get him back. It don't make sense to me though, because <laughs> it really don't. Because in this league, more than ever now, what do you need to win? Anybody can answer this. What do you need to win in the NFL more than ever right now? 
Quarterback. A quarterback. A quarterback. I'm just leaving it at that, man. Because this man said Nick Sirianni is top five over Mike Tomlin. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Yeah, I, I want to say Nick Sirianni top five. Especially after last year. That was a coaching meltdown. <laughs> Put his mic on mute. <laughs> hey, that was a coaching meltdown. I'm He's still on mute. He's still on mute, Vaughn. He's still on I mute. really, I just can't believe it, though. I'm really at loss of words right now. I really think you're just trying to stick to your guns at this point. It's cool. I get it. So, like, for me, right, the reason why I got my list, I got Dan Campbell because the, the impact of that team when he got there, you saw it all the first year. So and then they 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 play with a certain way play play a certain way because of him, you know. So Dan Campbell, Sean McVay, Sean McVay, I feel like is a really good coach. Yeah, when, when he had his weapons, he won a Super Bowl. But they been they be hurt every year now, and they still be in a fight like last year. They were hurt this year, you know. So so Sean McVay is a really good coach. Um, Andy Reid, can I shall I say more? He went to five NFC Championship game with McNabb. Um, no, this is McNabb. <laughs> Um, and I had Matt LaFleur in the bubble, but – and Kyle Shanahan, you know, like Kyle Shanahan. I mean, I got to respect Kyle Shanahan because the culture he set there also. He set a certain culture with the 49ers. They consistently win, and it's because of him. He's got a culture. You hear players talk about Kyle Shanahan, the order they have on that stuff. And then Mike Tomlin, bro, like, I know I had my thing with Vaughn with Mike Tomlin. I never said he wasn't a top five. My issue was can we raise his standards? Like, can we not be too excited – with him just being 500. But, I mean, come on, bro. He had nothing to work with. Like, far as he, Javon's right. You need a QB. I mean, I, anybody that know that, come on, bro. I know that. Like, come on now. QB saved my life. You know? So, my whole thing is Mike Tomlin been making – and then also he in the toughest division. You know? Year out, year in. Year out, year in. He got to play this tough division, and he's still winning games. So, I got to give him his props. Well – can I do a re? Uh, can I do an honorable mention? If we talking about being in the toughest division and you need a quarterback, what's the uh, Browns coach name? Oh, Savasky. Savasky. I, I, I like him too. Savasky yeah. definitely top, top uh, six. Yeah, he he comes all the stuff he got to deal with. Savasky is. I, I really like Savasky. I know. I do too. Hey, yeah. but I'm like, bro, he's not the problem, bro. It's y'all. Nah. <laughs> Savasky is definitely another problem in Cleveland. We know it's the owner. Ownership has been terrible there for a very long time. Yeah. But Mike Thomas, he's like, like, like brother Jacob said, bro. Mike Thomas probably see when today's offense, also, but brother check was in the league still, you know. So people probably thought he was top 10. Oh, you didn't think he was top 10 day at the time? Never mind. Let me shut up. There. Bill, no, nah, because remember, I was the one that said that Bill Belichick was gonna lose his job. <laughs> but his, on, his GM, he's he's a good coach, though. It's his GM skills, bro. That, that hurt him. I'm sorry, yeah. bro. But when you yeah. say when you say NFL, it was almost it was it was almost, honestly my stance was pretty much the same thing with Mike Tomlin because to me I expect when it comes to Mike Tomlin and Bill Belichick, I hold them to a higher standard because of what they've already done in this league. Mike Tomlin is already a Super Bowl champion, head coach. He already has one, so I expect him to do more than know what he's done now i get it i understand it. he hasn't had the quarterback play but that's also been some of the decisions that he's made we know that mike t has he's 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 given that grace to be able to make those decisions haven't being able to hire his own coaches and stuff like that so having 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 matt canada there for a while was was a part of that for me not having a good good enough quarterback there was a part of me because I feel like, like you said, not have being as though you had Big Ben for so long, you weren't able to put yourself in a position to, to, to draft the quarterback. So that was all of that ties into me not putting him up there because those decisions were his, it was his reasoning. But it wasn't him solely making no decisions. He doesn't have the, 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 I know he's not the GM, but my thing is, I, I look at him right now. Look at yeah, but Bill Belichick hasn't won since Brady was there. So that's also true. You need a quarterback at the end of the day. Like that's the whole kill here. Like one thing I can say about Mike Tomlin is people already count us as a winning record just because of him. It's like it don't matter who he got. They know he going to at least get over 500. So I feel like that says a lot about you as a coach already. Every player in the league says they wish they can play for Mike Tomlin. I want to play for Mike Tomlin. 
Every player, literally, every time you hear somebody talking about a coach, they trying to play for Mike Tomlin. Every time a player comes to us from another team, man, I always wanted to play for Mike Tomlin. Who don't want to play for Mike Tomlin? I mean, I feel like when you – everybody know what it is, man. I just felt like – I feel like Dave just needed something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I know your guy ain't top top three. Y'all, top y'all, two. I killed with the question. <laughs> No, I came I I'm talking about him, him, him signing up. He he just brought that up out of nowhere in the past. Like he just brought that up. Like okay, it was I'm never good. like a question. He just said, Man, I just don't think time. He just brought it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking I about. I brought it up like randomly. You know, I'm saying when we first talked about when you first said Mike Tomlin not top, top five, it wasn't a topic or nothing. You just said it. You just know you said it in the chat and I brought it up. No, you volunteered that, Dave. You can show me the receipt. Remember that. You can show me the receipt, but that. I'm just saying you brought it up. So you said I, that I, brought it up. I don't I'm, I'm like you named the Vikings coach. What has he done? Tell me. I, I look at him just being able to win and not really having a consistent quarterback. He had Kirk Cousins. Dave, what are you talking Mike about? Tomlin. Mike Tomlin, <laughs> you just named Mike Tomlin. You'll be able to win with no quarterback. And Kevin O'Connell didn't win a playoff game. He got smoked as a favorite. Against the Giants. Against Danny Dimes. Yeah. Dang. Tom was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, we so, going right, so. to go to the doghouse for that one. Put Dave in there, too, with, with, with the Vikings coach. All Him, the Vikings coach, and Nick Sirianni. Throw all of them in there. Because they not top five coaches. I'm sorry. Dave, you got a rebuttal. Other than that, we're going to get to our last words. With mom. No, no rebuttal. You can't okay. even smoke him. <laughs> hey, man, that's all I'm going to say, man. Top of the division game. Let me put my hey joke. Hey brother, brother joke. Come on, man. Hey, top of the division gang is here. You know what I'm saying? The the curtain is here. I ain't gonna say still because I ain't gonna disrespect the past. But them glass house niners, y'all days are over, my boy. That's all I'm gonna say about them. Shout out to the magic. My boy Paulo had that first 50 piece. That boy Apollo. I said he's gonna be top five, didn't I? It's coming. RBO will be live tomorrow. Okay. I'm I'm hoping to do an early show. If I can get there, I will. If not, it will be at we nine. No, tomorrow when I asked you about today. That's what messed up. Hey, we have some technical difficulties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, can talk, you, you can talk to the producer. You know what I'm saying? We I, I tried. <laughs> you know, I tried. But you know, I just want I just want to say appreciate y'all. Um, we want a bad week this week, so everybody have a, have a good time on the football field. And, and Joe yeah. and brother Joe, I'll see you in two weeks, man. There it is. At, I will be yeah. at the game. I will be at the game. Rest up, big brother. Rest <laughs> up. Hey, we chilling. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. All right, Vaughn. Come on, you try to producer. <laughs>